Shut up and sit down. What's up, everyone? And welcome back to another video with Matt Morris. Of course, I'm your boy, Matt Morris. And today, we are talking about dandruff. So, I am here to tell you right now, as much as there is a stigma around dandruff, having dandruff is disgusting, um, you're just a dirty person, yada, 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 yada. It's one of the most common conditions that people have here in the United States and also around the world, right? I gathered two statistics that I'm not quite sure which one is more uh, accurate, but it says between one in five and one in two people, meaning that if someone else was right here beside me, the likelihood is that one of us has dandruff. All right, the cat's out the bag, it's me. You got me, all right, I'm affected by it. Okay, I'm caught. Now what, huh? Now what? I say all that to say that regardless if you do have it or you don't have it, um, it's so common that most people should be pretty familiar with it to some degree, right? You look down and you see these little white flakes on your shoulder and you scratch your head and you see things falling down. And there's snow, right? It's like you got snow in. Quick backstory, a little story for yourselves. It just turned, well not just, but when it went from fall to winter, my body took it hard, right? To the point where I woke up literally one day, my scalp was fine the day before. Like I had my regular over production of sebum um, already, but woke up, scratching my head, and y'all when I tell you it looked like it was snowing from my head, like it was pretty dang bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, to the point where I was like, this is concerning. Not realizing the weather just changed. It was like 60s, 80s, somewhere between, somewhere between the 60s and 80s the day before. And the next day the high was like in the 40s. So my body was like, what is going on? Um, and it hit me hard. And I was like, I should probably do a video on this because as much as I don't want to get on here and be like, hey y'all, check out my dandruff, isn't this cool? Like, I don't want to do that, but I just want to have a little conversation about it. And, things, what causes it, and some solutions, things we can do to, you know, get around it. What has helped me in my journey through it. So let's get into the causes, right? I have a bunch of ways that this can happen, so I'm just gonna breeze through these really fast. Um, but number one, over, uh, overproduction of semen from your sebaceous glands. In short, these are just oils that get, re that get released on your scalp to keep it from drying out. Um, fungal colonization, so if you aren't washing your hair, for example, often enough, you can have fungal, or if you're not drying it well enough, Fungus can start to grow and it can also create dandruff. If you are over brushing your head, I don't know how that problem obviously because my keep mine in um, either twist or braids or some type of protective styling, but over brushing the constant friction with this sensitive skin can also be another one. Um, different products, so part of dandruff could also come from uh, hormonal imbalances, and so that can be caused by whatever shampoo, conditioner, uh, hair products, oils that you're putting on your scalp, and if it's bad, badly reacting, it can cause dandruff. Uh, overexposure to sunlight. So I didn't even know that was a thing, but I guess in a way, if you're drying out your scalp and you're getting direct sun or sun rays straight to it, can definitely cause an imbalance, heat it up in a way that it definitely wasn't expecting, right? And especially being that, in a way, I guess, it's not that bad, but because I leave mine in protective styling all the time, it is more prone to getting direct sunlight. Granted, I'm not outside like that, I'm usually in the shade or I go out at night. Anyways, things you routinely eat, so apparently certain foods can also cause the overproduction um, or the dangerous reaction as well. One of those is being that you're not getting enough protein, which I'll talk about later. Um, and then the last one, um, excessive pressure into your scalp. So if you wear like hats, um, I do do bandanas, but typically like they just sit on top of my head. But I guess if you were putting them on like super aggressively, but like trying to stack it on, like your scalp's like, hey, chill out, like don't put this really tight hat on me. Um, or something of the sort, right? Just be careful because like your skin in general is pretty sensitive, durable for sure, but it can be very sensitive in what it reacts to. So the good thing is dandruff can be relatively easy relatively easy to control. Uh, if you stay on top of it, if you kind of learn to scalp the way your hair reacts to things, the way your body reacts to the different temperatures, season changes, things of the sort, you can typically stay on top of it so you don't have to deal with it again. Um, at least in my case, I've been pretty lax, apathetic toward like taking care of my scalp at times. I'm doing better now, right? At least in my case, what has helped me is finding a shampoo and conditioner that have, um, or that are specifically designed to help uh, target dandruff in the production of it. And it has drastically helped me. After I got that day where I was snowing from my head, I went, got some dip, well, 
oh yeah, I got some different shampoo and conditioner. And I haven't had a problem since. It's been pretty good. Scalp has been less itchy. Haven't been touching as much. And the scalp actually looks good. I mean, I think I'm not showing this. It is still white, but it looks pretty, pretty good right now still. So I'm okay. I'll, we'll go with it. Um, but let's go into some of the solutions in general. Um, obviously the first one, shampoo and conditioner. Try to find ones at Target, Tandruff. Honestly, just like any video that I probably mentioned before, like having your hair on the right schedule, shampoo and conditioning, could also have an effect on that. So like I mentioned before, if you're over shampooing or even if you're under shampooing, it could also cause dandruff. And so like I usually do a two week schedule. Right now I'm doing it more often because I'm trying to get my scalp back in order because of the season changes. So wash my hair about once a week, but usually it's about two, every two weeks. Uh, really just depends. I just have to pay attention to when my scalp, help, uh, uh, scalp starts to get really itchy or if I really got, um, I don't know, like my hair just looks really funny. Or like my roots are kind of funky looking. Like I just gotta pay attention more. And that comes with the balance, putting on a routine and paying attention to what your environment is looking like as well. So I typically have dry scalp already. Like I, my regular skin, like everywhere else, I have always had dry skin. I had eczema as a kid, so I've always been a big lotion boy. Um, if I'm out of the shower, I'm putting lotion on. That is 100%, and maybe that's my secret to having my more dry skin. I don't know. But regardless, your hair is the same way, right? You want to make sure that you're cued it up with um, the right nutrients that it needs. And so for me, with my scalp, because obviously there's hair in the way, um, I did oil washes for a good bit, and I stopped. Probably need to pick those back up. Oil washes really helped me out. Um, not only does it leave your hair like looking amazing, but like it also targets your scalp, obviously, and giving it some moisture. So if you put the oil on your, put I put the oil and I'll do a video on it. Put the oil on your scalp, leave it in, or sorry, heat the oil up, put it on your scalp, then wash it, leave it in for like I think I usually did like at least thirty minutes, maybe an hour, then I wash it out, right? And my hair would look fantastic. I was like, this is amazing. Like, wow, I never seen my hair look good. Uh, and I need to get back on it. And you can also do the same with apple cider washes. Apparently those are really good at getting um, certain bacteria and fung fungi that grow on your scalp off. And if you do them like once a month, for example, you could probably help regulate that just as another option. So just like stress can affect literally your whole body. When you are stressed, typically your immune system gets becomes compromised. And being that if your dandruff is caused by fungi or bacteria, you have to be careful because those can <laughs> those can take advantage of your immune system and thrive even more because you are stressed. So as I have to say, we are now in a new year. Happy New Year. I don't think I started with that. My bad. But also, um, being that we're in the new year, do what you need to do to put yourself in the most relaxed state that you can be. Set yourself up for success in 2023. Okay, if people are bad vibes, get them out. You don't need to keep anyone in your life that is going to cause you to stress out and make your life worse. Okay, and again, like, you want to be stressed out and have dangerous falling from your scalp? I mean, do you, right? Like, I'm not saying no shame in the game, but if it's there for, like, months of, like, half of the time, cool. But if it's, like, consistently, I'm like, okay, dude, like, come on. You clearly see it. Like, I see it. I know you see it. Like, you be scratching your head and be like, oh, shoot, snow in it. No, it's 80 degrees outside. Ain't no, ain't no snow on the ground. I don't know. Like, Let's get it together, buddy. Like, let's work together here. So, get the bad vibes out. Keep your stress at a minimum. Um, of course, I'm going to encourage you to work out in some way, hit perform, because it's a great way to keep your body in good shape and help reduce stress as well. Um, but most importantly, surround yourself around people that love you, want the best for you, and are not going to put you in the way to not only in harm's way, but also in dangerous way. Who wants that? Okay, I've been rambling off enough. I'm going to stop talking. Um, I don't do it in this video, I recorded another one already, but it's part two to the dandruff after literally the same day, so I got dandruff, washed it that night, this is the day after, and I show what I, what it looks like afterwards, um, cause I washed it in my twist, so we'll do another video on that, but I hope this part one helped you out a bit, um, uh, please, you know, do what you need to do, if you need to go see a doctor and it gets really bad, please go do that, um, but of course try the at-home remedies like the oil wash, shampoo and condition that target dandruff. Um, and if those simple things are reducing stress, obviously, but if those don't work, obviously it might be a good time to go see a dermatologist um, or just someone that can help you with the hair in general. Uh, maybe you might have a genetic condition too. So talk to your family, like, hey, if anyone else had these issues, is it just me? Because it's likely that somebody else has seen it before. 
Thank you all for checking out the video. Of course, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if I'm boring the crap out of you. Um, but happy new year, 2023, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Shut up and sit down.